Space Ninja Bob here. I'm going to show you a little bit about solar thermal systems and our solar thermal system. First we'll go over to my dad who installed the system and he's going to give a quick explanation and a little schematic on how it's done. And then I'm going to take you around and show you the panels in this tank. Let's go. A quick demonstration or schematic of our solar system. We have panel on a south facing roof. Uh, pipes go through the roof. They actually then go underneath the floor of the house and come up in the airing cupboard. Uh, in the airing cupboard we have our twin coil hot water cylinder. Um, bottom coil is connected to our solar panel, like so. Uh, we have another coil in the top of the cylinder which is connected to normal condensing boiler. So our boiler heats the top of the tank uh, and through um, stratification only the top of the cylinder is hot, the bottom of the cylinder is always cold uh, therefore uh, even when the water temperature is at 20 degrees we will get some solar because generally the temperature of coming on to our panel is greater than 20 degrees. Um, we have a pump in the circuit to pump our solar fluid backwards and forwards. We don't have a check valve because what I've created is actually an anti-gravity loop. So at night when the cylinder is hot, um, it won't gravitate uh, up to the panel. If the panel was up here, it wouldn't gravitate up to the panel and lose heat. Um, we do have a, an electrical controller on the wall which has got a probe in the bottom of the cylinder which is taking the temperature. It also has a probe in the panel and if the temperature of the panel is more than 5 degrees higher than the temperature of the cylinder then the controller will run the pump. Once that differential is down pump shuts off and it's a very very simple system works very well biggest problem with it is the cylinder is never big enough you can never have enough hot water so here we are at the panel and apart from this lovely view we have a nice 20 evacuated tubes for our solar panel as you can see the sun hasn't quite reached it yet today it's still quite early in the morning but we can see the operation of this, the manifold at the top where you have the water coming in, being heated by conduction through the centers of these tubes, and then the warm water going back in to the main house. Panel could do with a bit of a clean because you've got a lot of moss, but you can see these back reflectors here, which are angled just as shown in the lectures to make more use of the reflected light back into the tubes. Here we have the boiler connected up to the tank that was shown in the diagram and you can see the immersion heaters here at the bottom which can heat the majority of the tank but the coil is right at the bottom and if I show you the controls of the system you can see that the current temperature of the panel is 14 degrees and the bottom of the tank is 17 degrees so it's not running at the moment it's a nice autumn day here but it means that even at 17 degrees down the bottom of the tank we can still run the taps and get hot water from the top of the tank which is heated separately from the boiler. So there we have it, one simple thermal solar system. Thanks for watching, much love to all the edX guys and I'll see you in the next block.